My name is Bar Moses. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Monte Carlo. Our mission is to help accelerate the adoption of data by reducing what we call data downtime. Uh, data downtime is periods of time when data is wrong or inaccurate. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, Netflix was down, actually in 2016, uh, for 45 minutes, which is a long time, full episode of your favorite uh, something to watch uh, because of bad data. We started Monte Carlo to help data teams make it easier to make sure that their data is reliable and accurate. So I've been in data for the last decade and a half or so. Um, originally born and raised in Israel, moved to the Bay Area about 14 years or so. Um, prior to Monte Carlo, I led a number of go-to-market teams, including the data team at a company called Gainsight, uh, which actually pioneered the customer success category. Um, and at Gainsight, I was responsible for data that our board was using, our customers were using, um, and the data was wrong all the time, and I was really frustrated by that. Um, and when I was looking at my engineering counterparts, they actually had all these amazing solutions like Splunk and App Dynamics and New Relic and Datadog that helped those engineers make sure that what they were building was reliable. Um, and data teams were flying blind. We had nothing. Uh, we had to go in a room and sort of manually, uh, uh, you know, sort of, uh, you know, scribble things on, on whiteboards and sort of manually track uh, how data was flowing through pipelines and really honestly like hope that data comes out right. And, you know, at Gainsight, I was really frustrated with that experience and sort of kind of hacked my own solution for that. Um, ended up implementing it for some of our customers as well. And that sort of kind of sparked the idea that this is something that you know, as more and more companies become data-driven, is going to become more central to companies' operations. Fast forward, you know, to starting Monte Carlo, this was three years ago, um, I actually started three companies in parallel. So I wanted to sort of understand, um, you know, what does product market fit look like or what it doesn't look like. Some of the ideas that I worked on were terrible. Uh, nobody cared about them. Uh, but this idea that I worked on in particular, uh, when it came to data downtime, data reliability, making sure that you can trust your data, was so sort of core and integral for so many leaders. Um, so I spoke to actually hundreds of CTOs, heads of data engineering, uh, VPs of data. And for all of them, you know, data trust, data reliability was actually like a top three problem. Um, and, and there were literally no solutions out there. Uh, and so, you know, kind of inspired by my own kind of personal experience and seeing hundreds of people um, that are struggling with the same problem, I uh, actually decided to, to start Monte Carlo. Um, so joined forces with uh, Lior, my co-founder, um, who has a security and data background. And we started the company actually this summer, three years ago. Uh, it was the, the birth of Monte Carlo. There are so many things that are hard about starting a company. Um, you know, when you start a company, nothing is working for you. Like everything is hard. Getting your first customer is hard. Getting your first investor is hard. Getting your first employee is hard. Like you don't get anything for free. You don't get any shortcuts. It's all super hard. And actually, you know, when you start a company, the, the reality is 99.9% .9 of startups fail. And yet you wake up as an entrepreneur every single day and you ignore that reality and you push forward and build the company. And so literally everything is super, super hard. One of the things that sort of give me inspiration is actually overcoming those challenges. Uh, so we actually ingrained that in our values as a company. Uh, so the value is called beat the odds. And it's part of our DNA to get up every day, be in the arena, and um, do all the hard things and actually drive sort of energy from that and conviction from that. Um, what gives me a lot of satisfaction in my work is actually being able to solve real problems for our customers. Um, so, you know, if we help, uh, you know, companies across industries, so just to name a few, we work with um, CNN and New York Times and Fox and media. We work with Roche and Amgen Healthcare. Um, we work with Gusto and PagerDuty and Rivian and iRobot um, and JetBlue. And all these companies can actually deliver more reliable data and better customer experiences as a result of working with Monte Carlo. And so if I can make or I can help make a data teams sort of, you know, uh, deliver on a better experience, that gives me a ton of inspiration. One of the areas where I spend the most time as CEO and co-founder is building the team. 
honestly, like the people that make the company are is the most important thing that we have. You know, I think we we have the best team in in the data industry. Um, our team, by and large, you know, thinking about sort of the various activities that we've done, our team has created um, or helped create the data observability category. Uh, data observability didn't exist three years ago, um, and for folks who are not familiar. Data observability is really sort of a corollary to observability in software engineering. So, you know, engineers have solutions like Datadog and App Dynamics and New Relic to help um, make sure that their software and, and applications are reliable. Um, that doesn't exist for data teams. And so we're building that uh, for data teams, for data engineers, for data analysts, um, and help them make sure that their data is reliable. So we had to define what does data observability mean and build a product around that. Uh, so it's not just marketing speak, it's really sort of category creation, building the product, learning how to sell this product, and then helping customers actually see value from that. You know, so when customers tell us, um, you know, that they've seen a reduction of 70 to 80 percent of data downtime issues as a result of working with Monte Carlo and adopting data observability practices, that's when we know that we've sort of won at the end of the day as a team. The GGV community is amazing. Um, like, hands down, one of the best I work with. Um, so we feel really fortunate to be able to work with the GGV team. You know, I... I I reflect on the first time that I met Glenn and Oren three years ago. You know, I think that was kind of the, the beginning of, of this great long-term relationship. And I think the way that the GGV, the broader GGV community has helped us in really invaluable ways, whether it's, um, you know, um, uh, evangelizing the category. Um, uh, Glenn has an amazing podcast that I highly recommend. Um, uh, supporting us other kind of marketing and category creation opportunities, whether it's with uh, recruiting and identifying talent, um, huge for for early stage startup. Like actually identifying strong candidates. Um, you all have such an amazing pool of candidates, and being able to kind of work with you all on our needs has been um, amazing. And then, um, you know, obviously kind of uh, introductions to customers and other kind of folks in the portfolio and in the network, um, you know, I would say those are some of the highlights. But really sort of as, as kind of an entrepreneur, when I think about Glenn and Oren, they've seen the movie before. Like they've seen so many successful companies like HashiCorp and Slack and so many others. And so to be able to have their perspective after seeing those movies and saying, you know, giving sort of an advice or seeing, you know, putting something in perspective has been really, really helpful. I think more than anything, that kind of their the experience that they bring to the table um, is tremendous. I mean, when I started this company, I was looking for a decacorn grade product in a decacorn grade market. That's what we're here for. We think there is a huge opportunity. I think data observability is going to be a really big market. I think there is a huge opportunity to actually help data become something that people use. Unfortunately, the data is wrong so often. And so I'm really excited for us to be helping, you know, hundreds of thousands of companies who actually want to use data. I'm excited, you know, to see this sort of category grow and become even bigger. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to build sort of the biggest and um, uh, most impactful company that we can.